This page was created to teach black history. Unfortunately, the American educational system was designed to exclude our real historical account. So we are here to dismantle it. It's time to enlighten those of us who have been kept in the dark. I am a black man who didn't know enough about my own history. So I began to dig deeper and do my own research. Black history is American history. So I want people of all races and cultures to join together to learn our history as one. Here, I will share all of my findings. Please like, follow, share, and subscribe to Teaching Black History. The story of Sarah Boone. Sarah was born in Craven County, North Carolina, near the town of New Bern in 1832. Along with her three siblings, she was born into slavery and prevented from formal education. Sarah was educated by her grandfather at home. On November 25, 1847, she married James Boone, a Boone, a free man in New Bern, and was granted freedom from slavery. They had eight children. The Boone family left North Carolina for New Haven. Before the outbreak of the American Civil War, they settled into a house at 30 Winter Street. Boone worked as a dressmaker and belonged to the Dixwell Avenue Congregational Church. On April 26, 1892, she obtained a United States patent number for her improvement to the ironing board. Boone's ironing board was designed to improve the quality of ironing the sleeves and the bodies of women's garments. The ironing board was very narrow, curved, and made of wood. The shape and the structure allowed it to fit a sleeve, and it was reversible, so one could iron both sides of the sleeve. Boone is regarded as the second African American woman to attain a patent after Judy Reed. She was a pioneering African-American woman inventor who developed new technology for the home. Boone died in 1904 and is buried in the family plot in Evergreen Cemetery in New Haven.